Hello everyone and welcome to the Vortex where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed on Michael Vorce. Since we are in the range of the 50 year anniversary of the start of the Second Vatican Council, we thought it might be helpful to review some misconceptions that have arisen as a result of people ascribing to Vatican II things that Vatican II never said, especially about the Mass. The first document that came out of the Council was called Sacrosanctum Concilium, and it was aimed broadly at increasing holiness in church members by a reform of her liturgical rites. But that reform never included so much of what has gone off the rails since then. For example, almost no Catholic really understands that Vatican II never said Latin should be thrown out, vestments should be changed, the altar should be turned around, bells should be done away with, the priest should face the people, no longer a need for incense, communion rails should be ripped out, statues and paintings of saints should be tossed out, Gregorian chant should be dumped, Holy Communion should be given in the hand, so-called Eucharistic ministers should be the usual and common distributors of Holy Communion, people should hold hands during the Our Father, kneelers should be discarded and people just remain standing, appropriate jests for Mass should be abandoned, guitars and drums should become primary instruments, the musicians should be applauded for their service, altar girls should become a norm, the sign of peace become an opportunity for socializing, preaching and homilies should rarely if ever mention traditional Catholic teaching. This list could go on and on and on. None of that, not one single bit of that was ever said at Vatican II. What happened is that when the door was cracked for change, a type of change that could be fairly characterized as tinkering around the edges, Many people got it in their minds that they could bring the wrecking ball and reinvent the Mass as though nothing had ever existed before 1965. There are a hundred reasons for this, and loads of people were involved with many different intentions, and all of that is worthy of much discussion, and we have those discussions here frequently during our Vortex episodes, but one thing is certain, the Mass has suffered greatly in the wake of Vatican II and the proponents of change. Massive change never intended by the Council. The door was opened for abuses and misunderstandings and an entirely new attitude that was different from that which went before is now become the case. And we are seeing the consequences of all that now. In many cases the Mass has more the look and feel of a Protestant service than the representation of the sacrifice of Calvary. Many things have entered into the Mass that Vatican II never legislated or even imagined. And likewise, many things have been removed from the Mass or have fallen by the wayside that, again, Vatican II never legislated or even could begin to imagine. We provided a link to Vatican II's document on the reform of the liturgy and ask you to read it for yourself. It's not very long. And then ask yourself, is this the situation in my parish every Sunday? that was envisioned by the Second Vatican Council? It's a fair question. For example, on one very simple basic point, a question about sacred music, point number 116, 116 in the document says the following, quote, the church acknowledges Gregorian chant as specially suited to the Roman liturgy. Therefore, other things being equal, it should be given pride of place in liturgical services, close quote. Does that square with what happens in your parish each Sunday? When is the last time you heard Gregorian chant as a staple in your parish? Would anybody in your parish even know what Gregorian chant was? Vatican II said it should have pride of place. So what happened? And that is just one topic. The question, what happened, can be asked about a lot more. God love you. I'm Michael Voris. Discover the truth 